Oh, that was the grossest thing I've ever heard in my life. All across America, there are certain foods that are local favorites, although maybe not so appealing to anyone from outside the region. So here are 10 states with the worst food in America. Alaska. Alaska, a place where you can't be too fat or too drunk. Alaska is not a state widely known for its delicious food options. In fact, a lot of places in Alaska are rather remote, and regular food sources are not always easy or cheap to get. Alaska is known for its natural beauty and for its bountiful wildlife that the local people have made use of for food for many years. It was an Alaskan bullworm! Oftentimes, the people living in this state rely on what can be hunted, fished, or gathered, rather than paying the high prices for food that is brought in from elsewhere. While there are some innovative and delicious recipes that have come from Alaska, there are also some that will stop your appetite right in its tracks. This includes food items such as fermented fish heads, animal fat mixed with berries, and whale blubber with a bit of skin still attached. While these items may be eaten regularly, by those who are used to life in Alaska, including the odd food choices, that does not mean that these dishes are about to catch on. Most people would agree that Alaska can keep those sorts of recipes to themselves, and it is doubtful that you were going to find fermented fish heads in the average household outside the state of Alaska. Delaware Hi, I'm in Delaware. Delaware is probably one of the most unassuming states in America, but as nice and calm as it seems, it has its fair share of foods that would make you question what even qualifies as food. Among these less than ideal options is a food item called slippery dumplings. The name alone sounds completely unappetizing. The thought of any food item being slippery is not something that is overly appealing to most people. These dumplings are filled with noodles and chicken and coated in broth. I'm gonna order dumplings, but I want them to make the dumplings really big. And while they may not taste bad, the name and texture is enough cause for most people to avoid them. Aside from slippery dumplings, Delaware also offers food such as scrapple, which is essentially a meatloaf-type meal that is made of pork and food scraps, all slapped together and served in slices. The thought of eating the scraps of meat that were not good enough for use in other dishes is also not overly appetizing. Aside from those few food items, there's not much else from the Delaware area that is unappealing, but these are definitely foods that could be considered the worst. Texas. What am I now? Uh, stupid? No, I'm Texas! Texas is known for a lot of things. Cowboys, barbecue, and deep fried foods are probably the first things that come to mind. It seems like it's nearly impossible to go anywhere in Texas without finding some sort of deep fried item waiting for you. From deep fried beer to deep fried Pop Tarts, you can get anything you want deep fried in Texas. We serve good old fashioned home cooking. Deep fried to perfection. The majority of unappealing foods available here are things that have been deep fried that never should have been. This includes items that should never be eaten as food on their own. Texas offers deep fried butter, which is exactly what it sounds like, a piece of butter that is battered then deep fried in oil. So yes, you are literally eating nothing but deep fried coating with melted butter in the middle of it. The amount of grease you would consume when eating this product is enough to make your stomach turn. Along with deep fried butter, you can also get such disgusting options as deep fried potato salad and deep fried beer. Aside from deep frying everything, Texans also enjoy unusual meal options such as rattlesnake, alligator, and even cow tongue. Needless to say, it doesn't seem like there is a lot that Texans will not eat, especially if you throw it in the deep fryer first. North Carolina Except for North Carolina! North Carolina offers a variety of odd and uncommon foods, ones that you would probably try to avoid if visiting this state. One example is a very aptly named dish called liver mush. While you would hope that the food itself isn't exactly what the name implies, you would be very wrong. Liver mush is made from pig liver and parts of the pig's head, all mushed together with some cornmeal and spices to make a sort of patty. 
We'll get all mushy on me. So long, princess. Kudos to North Carolina for using parts of the pig that are not often used, but this meal does not sound like the sort of thing that most people would want on their dinner table. While there may not be a bunch of other options in North Carolina that are quite as gross as liver mush, they do offer some odd food combinations that may be at least a little more worth trying, such as coleslaw on hot dogs and pimento cheese on pretty much everything. If you're ever in North Carolina and you were offered liver mush, you're probably best to avoid it, unless you are an adventurous eater who does not mind what is actually in the meat patty. For a lot of people, the thought of eating mushed up pig parts that are usually disposed of is not appealing and can actually make people lose their appetites completely. Maine. About to fork over a plump little dollop of Maine justice Ooh, over here. Maine is probably most known for its lobsters, with people paying top dollar for Maine lobsters shipped out of state. Located on the coast of the Atlantic Ocean, Maine is known for its various lobster recipes and the innovative way in which they serve the lobster. You can go just about anywhere in Maine and run into lobster made in a different way with different seasonings and toppings to complement this shellfish. Unfortunately, not every lobster recipe is a winner, and in fact, there is one in particular that has come from Maine that is downright nasty. Have you yeah. get lobster for everybody? Yeah, and they're fresh right out of the ocean. <laughs> Tamale is a sauce-like food item that is essentially the liver and pancreas of the lobster. Found inside the shellfish itself, it is the green paste that the large majority of people get rid of because it looks and smells absolutely disgusting. There are even health advisories that suggest people avoid eating this part of the lobster. Despite that, it is still eaten in Maine, and it's usually used as a sort of spread or used in sauces to thicken them up and give them a bit of flavor. While this food item is considered a delicacy, it is not something that is in any way appealing to eat, and it's highly suggested that whenever you are in Maine, you double-check to make sure your sauce is not made with tamale. Montana Montana. Yeah, Montana to see uh, the ocean. Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, we're going to see the Montana coast. There are certain parts of animals that modern day people do not typically think of eating or really even using in any way. Around the world, there are all sorts of traditional foods that are made with animal parts that most people would never even think of eating, let alone consider a delicacy or a local treasure. The people of Montana have come up with their own disgusting food item, which has been around for a long time and is surprisingly still eaten to this day. Though, let's be honest, not that many people have or will ever try this particular item. Named Rocky Mountain Oysters, this food is made with specific parts of bulls that are often removed when ranchers wish to stop unplanned mating among their cattle herds. Nothing more really needs to be said about this less than appetizing Montana delicacy. Bull testicles as food is enough to gross most people out. The thought of eating something like that is appalling, and it does make you wonder who the first person was who tried it, and why they even thought to try it in the first place. Regardless of where or how it started, it has somehow carried through to current times. South Carolina South Carolina, what's up? Not wanting to feel left out, South Carolina will be joining North Carolina as well. While the two worst foods from the Carolinas are fairly different from each other, they are both equally as unappetizing. Though somehow South Carolina may have found a way to top the unappealing nature of liver mush, which is actually a pretty big accomplishment, all things considered. Chitterlings, for those who may not know, are little bits of animal intestines which are chopped up and boiled or fried and then served. Ew, that's disgusting! People eat them as a side along with other foods or even on their own. At least with liver mush, they attempted to hide the unconventional ingredients with other things mixed in. South Carolina just went for it and made no attempt to disguise the fact that they were just eating straight up animal intestines. For a great majority of people, the idea of eating the innards of any animal is enough to ruin your appetite, and for a good reason. The taste of this particular dish has been said 
to be something that you need to get used to. And if you're brave enough to try it once, maybe you too will develop an affinity for chitterlings. North Dakota. Hi, do you like South Dakota but don't want to see Mount Rushmore? Come to North Dakota. North Dakota is not exactly known for terrible food, but it does have at least one option for those who may be into trying things that are off the beaten path. Called lutefisk, this dish involves soaking fish in lye for a week and sort of letting it ferment a bit before consumption. This fish ends up looking sort of like it has been jellied, but tastes just like fermented fish, which makes not only the taste unpleasant, but the texture as well. Fermented fish is basically fish that has begun to break down and essentially rot, giving it a strong and pungent smell and taste. Your boy is a man with a terrible smell! Oh. And if fermented fish wasn't bad enough on its own, whoever made this food originally decided it needed to be a bit soft, wiggly, and slimy to really make this particular food the worst thing you can eat in North Dakota. Despite the fact that it looks, sounds, and smells completely inedible, many people in North Dakota enjoy it to this day. They can have all of it to themselves, as they are not likely to find anyone from outside of their own state that will sit down and dig into some loot fisk. Although it may be impolite to turn down food at the dinner table, if you are served loot fisk, there should be an exception to that dinner table rule. Maryland. Baltimore. Baltimore's not exotic, Frank, no. Maryland has a few uncommon food options, including things such as stuffed ham, which is exactly what it sounds like, ham stuffed with other things. Stuffed ham is relatively tame, and actually probably pretty good depending on what you stuff it with. While stuffed ham may be a bit different than what some people are used to, it's not something that would really be considered terrible or off-putting in any way. No, oh, no, I said steamed hams. That's what I call hamburgers. As long as you already like ham. What may turn you off of wanting to have dinner in Maryland, though, is the fact that they actually eat muskrats. Muskrats are a large member of the rodent family, which basically look like a cross between a rat and a beaver. They are strange-looking rodents, and definitely not something that you would look at and think of as dinner. Muskrat may not be the most disgusting thing available in the United States, but it's also not something that people would travel to the state just to eat, either. Maryland even holds festivals that are dedicated to preparing and eating muskrats. Along with muskrats, Maryland offers some strange options such as crab-flavored potato chips, deviled eggs made with local beer, and fried codfish sandwiched between two saltine crackers with some mustard. While none of these foods from Maryland are completely gross, muskrat is probably not something that most people will ever try in their lives either. Kansas. Toto? We're not in Kansas anymore. Kansas doesn't necessarily have the worst food options out there, but they do have some that are definitely weird enough to be included on this list. At the top is a weird food combination found in Kansas, chili and a cinnamon roll. The flavor of a spicy chili mixed with the sweet taste of a cinnamon roll is not a combination that the majority of people would ever think of trying. Just the thought of these two flavors together sounds pretty disgusting, but locals in Kansas Kansas swear by it. One of the other strangest foods to come out of Kansas is a particular sandwich, specifically a sandwich that is made out of nothing but mayonnaise and bananas between two slices of bread. Oh, bananas. This, again, is not the most disgusting combination of food out there, but it does make you wonder who first tried this combination, and why did they even think of putting these two items together? The tangy taste and thick texture of mayonnaise mixed with the slightly sweet and soft taste and texture of banana slices does not sound at all appetizing, and is certainly not something that most parents would send their kids off to school with. While these weird food combinations may be worth trying just to see if they are truly as good as the locals make it seem, they are not things that are likely to catch on anywhere else and will probably just always remain strange food combinations from Kansas. 